Hello, it's Dr. Carla Wolford from EHP CrossFit and Elevate Human Potential. Today we're going to talk about a little hormone called insulin. And you maybe only know it because people with diabetes need to take it. Um, there's a couple type of diabetes. Um, the other thing insulin does as a hormone as it helps you keep on weight or add weight. So we want to make sure that our insulin levels are regulated for you in your everyday life. And if you have issues with blood sugar, we know that we're going to have to dial this in more. So um, this is referencing the book, The Obesity Code. So you might want to take a look at that at some point. Um, but we're going to look at two graphs. So this first graph shows breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. Okay, the filled in portions are when our blood sugar goes up, our insulin has to match that. And our insulin, if we're eating five, six times a day, has to stay up. Now, if you're somebody who's looking to perform optimally, you might have to fuel this much, and this isn't necessarily for you. If you're somebody who need, is looking to lose weight so that they can be healthier on the inside, this is who we're talking to. So elite athletes, higher level athletes, we need to eat more than what we're gonna talk about um, in the bottom section, but just know that who are um, who we're kind of getting at when we're talking about this. So overall, our insulin levels have to stay pretty high, and when we're finally done eating, then our insulin levels get to drop down lower. We want our resting insulin levels to be as low as possible so that we are not maintaining or adding to our fat mass. So a better way to eat would be to eat in an 8-16 block. So we eat all of our food in eight hours and we fast for 16 of those hours. So we're gonna maybe eat a little bit more food at each meal than we did this. We're gonna have breakfast. We're gonna absolutely have no snacks. We're gonna eat our breakfast actually as late as possible. So some of you might not be eating until 10 a.m. Um, some of you might be eating before, but that is not unrealistic when we're doing this. Um, then we, we fast. So we see that our insulin levels actually dip. Then we're gonna eat lunch, so they're gonna go up again, but then we have a break between dinner. So instead of having that snack, they're gonna dip again. And then when we have that 16 hour break, when we're not eating, our insulin levels have an opportunity to go even lower. So if we're looking to lose weight, we're gonna think about, and we're thinking about this eight hour time block when we're eating, uh, more 16 when we're resting. If that's not quite ideal, maybe we go 9, 15, somewhere in there that works for you. One other thing I wanted to touch on was blood sugar levels when you eat glucose or sugar versus when you eat a fake sugar. So interestingly enough, when you eat sugar, your blood glucose goes up, okay? Insulin levels obviously have to come in and they have to combat that. When you eat, fake sugar, we're talking aspartame, we're talking sucralose, we're talking um, any of those things that are in diet this or diet that, by the way, that's worse, don't drink those. Um, what happens is our body stimulus, our blood sugar levels don't really go up because we don't have calories. However, our brain thinks that we ate a lot of sugar and our insulin levels actually come up 20 to 30 times higher with a fake sugar than when they were with real sugar. So what we just did is although we didn't raise our blood sugar levels, we raised our insulin levels way higher than we did if we just had sugar. So moral of the story, no fake sugars and let's decrease the real sugars. We can control our insulin and we can control our weight.